Hi, welcome back to Red Stallion Baseball, everyone. Today, obviously, as per the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a bat review on Marucci's Custom Pro Model uh, Cutch 22. Ordinarily, I wouldn't give some kind of an introduction to my videos, but in this case, I, I do want to explain why I'm specifically I'm, I'm doing this review and how my reviews are going to be different from other ones that I've seen on YouTube. I had never bought a wood bat before. This is the first time I'm playing in a wood bat league. So I didn't really know what to look for in a wood bat. I didn't know, you know how, how many different types of handles, knobs there were. I didn't know the difference between maple and ash. I did a lot of research. And I was trying to, to find reviews that would give me insight as to why specific models were maybe better than other specific models. All of the reviews that I found were disappointing. And none of it was helpful. All of the reviews that I found explained what finish the, the handle was and, and the barrel, how long the bat was, how much it weighed. And then they would just kind of repeat those things for the next four minutes. Now I'm not trying to call anybody out. That's not the, the point. I just didn't find any reviews that were helpful. So what I want to do is take the facts about baseball bats that I know in general and my experience swinging this particular model and give you some insight as to why this particular model worked for me and why I decided to go with this. Now to put things in proper perspective, the only two Marucci styles that I've held in my hand are the Cutch 22 and the AP5. So in terms of direct comparison, those are the only two models that I can really use. However, I can draw assumptions based on what I know about handle size, knob size, and taper. That those will be universal across different models and, and makes of bats, at least and especially in terms of Marucci. So with all that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to talk about is honestly why I would just go with a custom instead of buying one of the regular pro models. Uh, the biggest thing for me is, I didn't even know this until the, the bat arrived, they actually do the ink dot test on the custom bats. I don't remember seeing that on Marucci's website. Um, I think this is something that they just started doing recently. I went back to the website and now I see all of their custom bats indicate that they have the ink dot test. That was news to me. That was a surprise when I got it and pulled it out of the package, but that was really cool. Most of you probably know what an ink dot test is if you've done any kind of researching on wood bats, but in case you don't, all that all it is is they take a little dab of ink and they they put it on the handle the ink is going to kind of spread out in the direction of the grains and they're looking to see how straight the grains of the wood are they have a little device that they compare it against it can only be off a certain number of degrees to be considered a good quality bat Major League Baseball, I think it was 2009, mandated that all wood bats have the ink dot test because they didn't want to have anything that was pretty much less than perfect because then they're more susceptible to break and they didn't want 15 bats shattering every game. So that's one really neat advantage of having the custom bat. They've checked it, it's a good piece of wood and you can go out and use it and not be worrying about it breaking in your first few weeks. In addition to that, uh, just having the ability to customize, because uh, like I said, this is the Cutch 22, and obviously this is not the traditional paint or the traditional finishes on the Cutch models. Usually they're they're all cherry or they're natural on the handle and cherry on the barrel, or vice versa. Um, I like this particular look better. Um, so just having the ability to customize it, and you can get your name on the barrel, and you can customize your knob stamp as well. I put my number on it. Uh, they also date stamped it, and that just indicates when the bat was completed, and I think that's more for warranty purposes. Um, but just having that customizable control is, is really nice, and the, the difference is just $10 for the custom versus the regular pro models. I mean, the pro models are $140, and the customs are 150. I honestly would rather just pay the extra ten dollars and be able to customize everything, and you have it ink dotted, and so you know you've got a good quality bat, and it's exactly what you want. 
Now I'm going to get into the specifics on why I chose the Cups 22 over the AP5 and any other similar model. This particular bat works for me uh, and the, the type of hitter that I am, largely because of how balanced the bat is. A balanced bat means that it's not super inloaded on the barrel end. And that's important to me because I'm not a big, strong power hitter type. Those types of hitters oftentimes will prefer an end-loaded feel, and there's a reason for that. There's a, a really good video. I'm going to give the, the link to, um, it's for Michael Durr's Pro Speed Baseball channel. I'm actually training with him, and I'm going to be one of his instructors. The point of the video explains uh, swing path, and, and more specifically hand path to the ball. Having the proper mechanics and having your body in the right position allows the, the bat to kind of naturally get where it needs to be. The core principle of the video I'm talking about is mass follows force. When you take your hands through the zone or take your hands to the ball, the barrel of the bat is heavier than any of the, the rest of the bat. And so your force is your motion you know, through the hitting zone and your hands moving forward as you, you take your swing. The barrel of the bat is naturally, due to physics, going to not only lag behind, but then it's going to drop below your hands, which is where you want to end up when you make contact with the ball, is you, you want your hands to be a little bit higher than the, the barrel of the bat, and then you finish through the zone. For bigger, stronger guys that can control the a bigger barrel and like the end weighted feel of a bat, that's going to play into their favor because as they're taking their hands forward and they're creating in velocity, they're going to have more mass coming behind it. And so more mass at a higher velocity means more energy that's going to be transferred into the ball. It means they're going to hit the ball. For, for a hitter like me, I'm not going up there trying to hit home runs. I'm not a big strong guy. I am more of a doubles and triples kind of hitter. I like having a more balanced bat because I can, I feel like I can control where the bat's going a little bit better. I don't feel like the barrel of the bat is controlling me. And it's not through manipulating the barrel of the bat, but just by taking my hands on the, the proper path. So having a balanced bat is a lot more comfortable for me. And all, all of this ultimately comes down to feel anyway. If it feels good to you, then, then that's what you need to go with. If you prefer the end-loaded feel, then that's totally fine. For me, for the, the type of hitter I am, the way that I approach trying to hit the baseball, I like having a balanced bat. And this bat achieves its balanced feel largely due to the thick tapered knob here at the end. In fact, I think there's only one Marucci bat that has a larger knob than the Cutch 22. That takes some of the weight from the barrel and it brings it down on this end. That, that helps it achieve that balanced feel. And at first I thought it felt a little bit weird when I picked it up in my hands for the first time. But as I kind of took some dry swings with it, having a thicker knob made it feel like I had a lot more control in my hands. And then the bat was just naturally going where it needed to go. When I was swinging the AP5 and, and kind of taking some practice swings with it, it felt a little more clunky. It felt like I was trying to manipulate the bat because it all felt like it was down here. And this model didn't have to sacrifice a large barrel which translates into power for the, the balanced feel. This is a, a good bat that achieves both balance and power. So for those reasons, this just seemed like a much easier bat for me to handle. Now if you go to Marucci's website, you'll see that this model bat, along with many of the others, are labeled as being ideal for hitters with experience hitting with wood. When I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I haven't hit with a wood bat before, but I felt okay going with, with this particular model because first, it, like I said, I think it does have a little bit of a thicker handle. That's important because obviously the thinner the handle is, the less forgiving it's going to be if you don't get it quite on the sweet spot. But then ultimately, it's just about taking a good swing at the ball. So my overall recommendation for this model bat is largely going to be for the number one, two, three slot hitters. But you hit for average, you're going to get on base, 
and you can drive the ball into the gaps and, and get your doubles and triples. That's the type of hitter that I definitely think this is the ideal bat for. That's not to say that power hitters, your, your four and five guys, can't swing this model bat as well, because like I said, ultimately, if it feels good to you and your hands, then you're going to be more comfortable with the plate. I would not go with an AP5. If, if you're built kind of like me, you're, you're leaner, you're fast, you don't have a ton of muscle mass, this is going to be a really good bat for you. My overall rating for the Kutch 22 model is a perfect 10 out of 10. I've been out to batting practice with my team and, and done some individual tee work with it. It's done exactly what I wanted it to do. It feels terrific when I connect with the ball. There's honestly nothing that I, I can complain about. Rucci delivered me a, a great product and I'm very happy with it. And I'm excited to get the season started with it. So if any of you guys have swung a, a different model of Marucci bats. I think the only three that I've really heard anything about are the AP5, the Kutch 22, and the Joy Bats is, I know, another popular model. I honestly don't think I've heard anything about any of the other models, so if any of you guys have swung one of the other models, um, let me know. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, let me know what the, the taper is like, what the balance is, because I honestly don't know. So I'd, I'd be interested to, to hear what you guys have to say about it. Anyway, I hope to see you back soon on Red Stallion Baseball. Thanks, guys.